Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SHLDQ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, then it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis on Thursday, so that is where these green and red line annotations are coming from. And after today's very nice price movement, certainly some updates need to be made. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning and just get rid of that line. Sure, that level still pertains, it's just not relevant anymore. And from a presentation point of view, uh, you know, I don't, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and which leads to confusion. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. First update that needs to be done comes about based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above you want to see them act as support so 78 cents one of the newest areas of support the ideal level of support going forward meaning if you say hey clay what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward that would be if the price can say up above 90. now don't get me wrong though if the price falls below 90 i'm not saying that implies the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that but yeah if the price can say up above that area that is uh you know where the you know, the biggest sign of power would be displayed on the bull's part. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play. The famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very simple but highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just keep an eye on that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you going to best visualize that? Again, yes, yeah, staying above 90 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers are hanging out at, Main level right now, right up there around the dollar five mark. So going into next week, dollar five, public enemy number one. All in all though, top priority in my opinion at least is not necessarily breaking levels of resistance, but more so just building higher bases. Because as long as you have higher bases over time, everything else will take care of itself, including breaking the new levels uh, of, uh, breaking levels of resistance and continuing, continuing on up. Can you tell it's Friday? So all in all, great movement. And let's see if the price can just keep on chipping away with these higher lows. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.